RP at 7.27 p.m., 33 minutes before the daily close. We've had a nice turn back down on the 30-minute time frame. The only problem we have right now is we are still over this um, uptrending support, which is that five-year trend line and this bear flag that was formed around the top side of that. So if we hold this as support, you very well could get a weird pump this weekend because if you're asking me, this could be constituted if it were to come up as some kind of weird Gartley that formed and it would be a bullish one because that right side pull down. I know it's not prototypical, but I always like to look for little things that are anomalies in the market. So that is a definite anomaly. We're going to see where we close at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, so I wanted to send this update out now. Um, so make sure you're paying attention to that five and a half year trend line. And if you're new, I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. This trend line started all the way back on April 17, 2017, the one that I'm using. Started right there. And this is the first time we've come on the back side of it. Now, we need a daily close underneath that. We've yet to have a daily close that would put us outside of the 30... Let me show you in the four hour. It'd be easier. To keep you underneath this 32... 87 where it's at now, but we need this close as well underneath 3284 approximately If we can close in the next 32 minutes under 3284 we can at least completely reverse a Fake out yesterday, but if we don't This could just be a consolidation back up Right now. This has been a bullish bounce and if we don't correct underneath It's gonna have bigger implications because we want to break down but that bear flag right now is not allowing us to do it ladies and gentlemen it's just not allowing it. But everybody tune in, welcome. I know the, for whatever reason, I can't always see how many people are in here. It shows 17 people, but the viewer count only shows five. But I see the names in there, so I appreciate everybody tuning in. It'll update in a second. Putting it to the lower left, because I don't even, I don't want it to have such an emphasis. Um, but we have, yeah, that this is the area we have to break down. 32.89. And we want to close below that 32.89, first of all. But below 32.84, we would love a daily close under that to prove a little bit of strength here. I, we really would. If we can get some strength here, it'd be nice. Because it very well could be building this inverted head and shoulders. And I don't want that. I mean, it's not that I'm glorifying the dump. But I sure as hell would rather have a dump, be able to buy in my long hold bags properly, than for it to make a bounce up right now. That's just me personally. With Bitcoin. Bitcoin in the four hour time frame is bearish right now, but it hasn't pulled down. So this could be a correction candle. And that's kind of what it looks like, but we're within this ascending triangle pattern. We have the support at 19,536. We have a strong resistance at 20,413. But right now, the pattern resistance is not 20,413. It's this descend or ascending triangle resistance that's down trending, and that's about 20,174. Now, if it broke up right now in the next you know, 25 minutes, it's at 20,205. So that's a very key area that we're paying attention to right now. And if it was me before the daily close, these are the key points that I would be paying attention to.